Hello Minecraft fans. This is just going to be a short fast video about the mods I'm going to use in Minecraft for my next video because I have so many questions asking about how I get this mod and that mod and how I install them. And a lot of people are asking me about the Technic pack which I do not use. I install my mods myself and like to update them myself. First of all, the mods I'm going to use are shown here. Well, this is just where I store mods for any kind of Minecraft work. And I have a lot of them downloaded. Don't worry about them. I'm not going to use all of these. I've just been testing them. And well, let's check the Minecraft folder. Most of you know how to find uh, the Minecraft folder. If you don't, just open, well, this is uh, Windows 7. Just open any browser, browser window and type percent app data, percent enter, and uh, dot Minecraft should be one of the top. Maybe you have a few more, maybe not. Anyway, if it's first time you're using uh, mods, you most likely won't have all these folders. And the way I install mods is I'm using this pro program called MC Patcher and I'm using version 2.2. .2. I found it somewhere on minecraftforms.net and let's see how it works. Run. Yeah. First time you open this program you won't have all of these mods to select from. And you may have four and two of them already selected. Just uncheck them all unless you want them. And uh, as you can see I have this folder here with all the extra mods. And I'm just going to press plus sign. And then I'm simply going to add the mods I'm going to use. Such as mod loader, mod loader MP, Minecraft Forge. And for each mod I click open and uh, save. It will ask if you want to confirm and add a folder. Just click OK several times and it's fine. What is important is mod loader, mod loader MP and mod Minecraft Forge are loaded in this order. You can move them around with the arrows here. These three mods have to be in this order. Besides those three, I'm also using single player commands, audio mod, race minimap, too many items, world edit, um, see something, why? It's the mod where you can see what you're editing, editing in world edit, in game, so you get this red square. And recipe book, because basically too many items are becoming more, and more useless. A lot of the items I need are not even shown in too many items anymore, and uh, and I need to craft them anyway. So that's why I use recipe book. And when done, I just click patch. Yep. Notice the error. It says the conflict between mod loader and Minecraft Forge. It's fine as long as it's in this order, and only the files from Minecraft Forge client will be used. That's what we want. Yes, it's fine. And basically my uh, Minecraft is now uh, patched. So what you want to do is run Minecraft once and check everything is working. Is it? When you see this, it's working. Just close it again. You should now have this folder called mods. Open the folder. And this is where I drop in the special mods I'm going to use. Uh, currently I'm using Buildcraft 2.27. And what's how you install is just copy all the files over. And you can see I have already done that. Mind Factory Reloaded, it's there. Red Power 2, pre-release 4, it's there. And Wireless Redstone. Don't worry about these folders, they are added by Mudloader. So basically now my Minecraft is uh, patched the way I like it. 
So I'm going to launch it. Yes, just run. Maximum the window. Wait. There we go. Single player, experimental farming. Surprise, it works. Uh, this area is going to be featured in my next video. This is where I use Buildcraft, Minecraft, um, what was it called? Mine Factory, and Red Power 2, and Wireless Redstone. It's a uh, few automated farms, and I will, of course, add some more fun stuff. Uh, later, I might add the Industrial Craft too. Uh, but it's very well. I can't really say when it's released for Minecraft 1.0, but so far it's not working, so we're just going to ignore that mod. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, this video was some some sort of helpful. Uh, if you have comments or suggestions, don't hesitate to write. You can contact me on my channel or Twitter. Thanks for watching.